Happy uh, New Year, people! Uh, 2015. Um, this is just a. I was about to say short video. It's probably gonna not gonna be that short because I've written down some uh, things here that I want to talk about. Anyhow, but mm, uh, a thing I tried last year and even the year before that, I think that's where I started it was. Uh, uh, when I did uh, console of the month, which I uh, thought was a, it was a pretty good idea, um, at least in my head, you know, because I wanted to um, uh, you know, I wanted to try to like focus more on uh, fewer games uh, you know each month. And uh, in you know, in retrospect, that would maybe uh, make me uh, play more games in some sort, you know. And yeah, you know, it, pretty, it worked pretty well. Uh, but to be honest, a month uh, for a system is is not enough time. Uh, you know, due to the many of my games I play art <laughs> JRPGs, that takes a lot of time. So you know, it was if I. You know, we'd play in um, a lot of other genres. You know, that would be a, it would be a fantastic idea, and uh, and it was. You know, I I kept on doing that for like seven months, I think, eight, eight month months, something like that. I stayed uh, true to the console of the month thing, but yeah, and then it just you know um, just withered uh, <laughs> out uh, and. Uh, I didn't, you know, say much about it. It just, you know, something that passed away. So now in 2015, I'm thinking about this again because uh, when I have too many choices, it, you know, doesn't really work for me. <laughs> and uh, I know a lot of other people out there have the same problem. Uh, so. I'm gonna do something really weird and go for a gen year. I'm gonna go for a generation this year. And uh, yeah, only one generation. Uh, and that is the, a generation that's gotten a lot of love for me recently. Uh, you know, both in gaming and collecting. And that is the fifth generation. Uh, you know, with the PlayStation 1, uh, Sega Saturn, and uh, Nintendo 64, a uh, bit behind there. Uh, those three. And also, I want to have a, a handheld system um, at the same time. And uh, in this generation, there was a uh, like Game Boy Color. And, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take um, the fifth generation of um, of consoles and also Game Boy Advance. Uh, I know Game Boy Advance is you know much later. You know uh, Saturn and uh, PlayStation One is '95, uh, released in Europe, and uh, Nintendo uh, 64 was '97. And I know uh, Advance is like 2001, but uh, you know it was a 32-bit uh, uh, handheld system that reminds me a lot of that generation so uh, it's gonna be in this year as well so yeah I'm like 90 percent uh, uh, except maybe you know new games on the Wii U and you know exceptions here and there 90% of my game in this year is gonna be uh, and uh, try to focus on the collecting as well in that side uh, PlayStation 1 uh, Sega Saturn uh, which I fucking you know I've grown such a big love for that system uh, recently and you know the last year uh, since Saturn I'm absolutely in love with that system fucking fantastic it's totally I totally missed out on that back in the day so I'm so happy uh, you know uh, being able to uh, play and um, you know being able to really really live that system uh, especially you know um, the Jap side of it all uh, to, yeah, you know, I had the decision to go more Jap and uh, or you know use NTSC. And, you know, sometimes pad as well. Depends. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the fifth generation in 2015. Uh, you know, I'm not saying now it's gonna totally fucking work. I'm gonna sit here in uh, <laughs> 2016 January and said, you know, I look back on this year and uh, you know, totally kept to my word. But who knows? I'm gonna definitely gonna try, and I'm definitely gonna. I definitely think that I will play more, and it's so many games. That I want to replay on the PlayStation One and play that I haven't played, and uh, it's actually a couple of fucking gems, you know, like major games in gaming history on the Nintendo 64 that I haven't played, so I want to play them as well. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is, so because it's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, that, that's it, you know, um, for now. Uh, a bit of a big news for my channel. Uh, what else has been going on? Uh, I was actually this close <laughs> to buying a new system uh, from one of my favorite channels since uh, the beginning of watching YouTube, you know, con you know uh, gaming uh, YouTube channels. Uh, the American guy living in Japan, Luke Morse. Uh, I was about to, bu you know, buy a system from him, uh, but I don't know. Uh, things due to Christmas, New Year's, and all that. I thought, you know, I misunderstood and uh, thought he sold it off somewhere else, which he hadn't. <laughs> so I spent that money late uh, December on games instead, and you know. And, you know I could have bought that console but it's not the end of the world and he was okay with it and I'm, I'm actually okay with it as well but it would be cool to buy a system from uh, Luke Moss you know one of my favorite channels uh, you know ever on uh, YouTube uh, if you don't know who Luke Moss is he's a, a tinker <laughs> he, fi he can fix any console uh, out there you know faulty and uh, mod any console or <laughs> and he got more console than games than uh, yeah, most of us put together but uh, he hasn't been out on YouTube that much lately because he moved and uh, I think you know he didn't have the space anymore so he sold off a lot of his uh, systems uh, and games and stuff that's why I was buying this system and uh, yeah that was a um, actually a Neo Geo uh, CD uh, but shit that is a heavy you know weight weight uh, console so it was very expensive to ship but yeah so I'm not I'm, it's, I'm not buying it uh, which is you know it's, it's not all bad because re I really want to buy it but uh, you know the system I'm going for the next system for you know to buy wasn't you know new U C D and it was another uh, PC engine and uh, so maybe that's you know a hint you know get the PC engine rest. So yeah uh, so that didn't work out but that made me buy a lot of games <laughs> in December which I supposedly said that I shouldn't do and I did, but yeah, I had some extra cash in December due to some things that happened. Uh, so there's a lot of games they haven't arrived yet. You know, post from Japan. Uh, there are you know several packages from Japan coming. I don't know how many boxes, maybe five, six. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I know, I know, but yeah, they're coming, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, but. Those are bought in 2014, so I, I don't count them as uh, something I bought in 2015 because 2015 now, the first uh, four months, I have to uh, take it very easy with the, you know, purchasing stuff because I need to fucking save up for uh, Blackpool and uh, I really want to buy a capture card. So uh, the main goals now up to May. Uh, is yeah you know 
collect, uh, saving for Blackpool, buying the tickets, flight tickets, uh, you know, booking the hotel, and all that, uh, mom, uh, all that jizz, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, catch a ride with uh, Das again. Uh, das, if you see this video, is it, are we gonna do uh, you know about the same time as last year? You know when I book, so I know. Uh, give me the heads up on that. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be, even though it's gonna be some pickup videos in 2015 now in the beginning, but that was fucking bought in 2014, so fuck off. <laughs> ah, so, um, I actually got some shit here I'm gonna show in this video as well, because I am. Um, so much shit coming in so I might as well take this and this is just shit I found in the charity shop and uh, two games that came in the post and before that I'm gonna pick up which I forgot to say as well I'm pick picking up I'm gonna I'm gonna update my CRT I'm actually you know I have a fantastic CRT I have a Bang Olufsen MX 6000 for fuck's sake but yeah, I'm picking up uh, even better bag holders in tomorrow. So, <laughs> does that mean I'm gonna sell the six thousand? No. <laughs> I'll show you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a fucking hoarder. <laughs> yeah, so I'm. It's a new B B B and O uh, coming in tomorrow. So I'll show that probably tomorrow or the day after. So the small pickups before I go, we're up to 12 minutes now, is, you know, the first time ever I bought an audiobook, because I'm, uh, I was at a, uh, a second hand shop and I was looking at these and I was thinking, you know, I never tried an audiobook and I always go around with, you know, cordless headphones when I'm, uh, you know, at home. <laughs> And you know, I like to listen to stuff when I, you know, do the dishes and you know, do shit uh, around the, the apartment. And it would be nice, you know, to listen to uh, somebody tell me a tale. So yeah, I bought my first. It was one pound fifty. And uh, I, th I haven't watched the movie yet, so I think this movie is, is has come out in the, you know, the the outside Sweden as well so this uh, this movie is out with sweet English subtitles as well so I think definitely think you guys should check it out it's kind of a, uh, a kind of a Forrest Gumpy kind of movie a uh, Swedish one it's called the hundred year old uh, that went out the window and disappeared and uh, this is the book uh, or the, yeah the audio book it's, yeah it's a story about the hundred year old guy that uh, that you know uh, disappeared from his own uh, uh, 100 year old when he was turned 100 his party he uh, you know he fleed out the window and uh, yeah, this is about him uh, and the life he had before he turned 100 it's supposed to be a fantastic video and book so yeah I bought my first audiobook I'm getting old and uh, something for the Resident Evil collection. Uh, I'm not gonna open this because I don't have the system. It's you know Tiger Electronics. They made a uh, you know they made these kind of crappy uh, small handles back in the days. Uh, I wouldn't call this crappy though. This is fucking Star Trek. Uh, There's the only one I have. They yeah, but they they look awesome. So they made these, but afterwards. They actually made them like a real kind of handheld console, and that was called GameCon, Game.com. Uh, and you know, if I you know get my hands on one of those, I wouldn't mind playing this game because I want to play all the Resident Evil games, even you know shit like uh, Resident Evil 5. But this Resident Evil 2 on the Game.com. Uh, uh, so yeah, if I get my hands on a cheap uh, handle, I wouldn't mind playing uh, this game. It's in you know black and white on the handle, kind of shitty handle, but yeah, I want to play all the Resi games, if I can, 
So yeah, that's going to stay in this kind of uh, blister pack. Uh, that was about, you know, new blister pack. About 10 pounds shipped, so that was, that was not too bad. Uh, another EVE game, EVE Zero, for PlayStation. This is a collector's edition. Uh, a bit tatted in the box, but yeah, overall, kind of nice, like five pounds. Uh, yeah, if you don't know Eve, you know, Google it. It's a it's a game series that I really you know started to look into. So yeah, that's Eve Zero. And uh, then I got some uh, with an audio book. Uh, with the audio book and these, I paid about you know eight pounds. Uh, so four movies, and uh, yeah, I usually don't. <laughs> buy DVDs but, and uh, Blu-rays, but I've said that many times now, and I seem to <laughs> pick them up. But uh, I really like Ellen Page, and uh, I haven't heard about this movie. It's called Hard Candy, so yeah, I had to pick that up. Uh, something kind of a terrifying uh, movie I heard. And then I bought like a collector's edition of uh, Saving Pride Ryan, like a hard book, uh, like uh, yeah, paper cover. So yeah, I enjoy this movie. So yeah, for a pound I couldn't say no to that. And uh, one of my favorite uh, movies in the 80s, late 80s, is uh, Rain Man, with two fantastic uh, actors, at least back then. <laughs> One is fucking pretty fucking weird now, but yeah, fantastic fucking movie. And the last one is still sealed and uh, haven't opened. It, uh, it's not open, but it's something I really wanna. You know, I, when I saw this, like, oh, fuck it, I remember back when this came out, something about it, but I never watched it, and uh, yeah. It, it says uh, it's very sick and brilliant uh, cult movie. It's called Cecil B. Demented. So, yeah. so I took a shot with that. I like to get weird fucking movies. Uh, yeah, and it's from the Baron of Bad Taste, John Waters. So who knows? So yeah, that was small pickups and uh, what I'm thinking about doing in 2015. And uh, you know my fingers that it will work out with this generation stuff and I'm really psyched about it because now I can you know I don't have to all these choices you know fucking up my head but now I can you know focus and I know I'm gonna what I'm gonna play and it's gonna be awesome and I, and I would make videos about my progression as well of course uh, you know I'm playing already you know Sukoden uh, pretty far into that game now so yeah we will talk about the gen 5 in 2015 later on so yeah be nice people and all that cheers cheers